Moving on. And now we're getting into some stereo again. 15 and 16 is the main guitar. Main guitar. So these are two tracks. One thing I like to do for depth in, in these instances is use two different guitars. A lot of people don't, they use the same guitar, and I find that that gives me phasing issues. I think it's dangerous. I like the, the three-dimensional sound of two guitars, and to really cement this, I always use two amplifiers, different amplifiers. In this instance, we used a couple of amplifiers in the same track, so I could use, uh, let's say, a Nailer with a Marshall and a Diesel with a Friedman. They would be separate, different guitars, different amps each side. And we're set up to be able to do that with a switcher. It's a, we had a switch. I actually borrowed a switcher from a guy called Garth Richardson who got it from Metallica. And you're able to just basically switch on the amplifiers immediately so you don't spend hours changing everything. So these are the two mains. I don't know what's on there. I'm going to know right away. I'm going to guess that it's one of an ES-335. It could be a Les Paul. Could be a tally, you know, but we're gonna go back and have a look. Let's go on to the next, 1718. 1718 are the baritones in the chorus. Ah, uh, okay, so now these are stereo. This is a Gibson baritone guitar, which creates a problem because they don't play very well in E. <laughs> in fact, they're made for drop B, C, A, G, they're big, long neck Gibson Les Paul. And in this instance, we had to use a completely different set of strings and a completely different tuning. But what it provided us is that grungy sound that you could never get with a normal Les Paul and a Marshall. What it's going to give you, and you'll find out, is that mess down below that growls under the track. And of course, it does work incredibly well using metal as people use baritone. But in this instance, I think we actually even used a capo on this baritone at one point just to be able to fit it into the song. And we love to use this guitar. And it's something I've had for quite a while. Okay, moving on. 1920. Nothing there. Nothing there. Now, that's interesting because it was for use in another song. Yep. But today, it's not. 2122 are the octave guitars and the verses and the bridge octave guitars so this is the stereo yep octave guitars so i'm not sure what that is because i haven't listened to them since but i'm going to know right away because being the producer you remember sometimes <laughs> hopefully oh this was done a year ago so okay 23 23, 24 is stereo, and it's like a couple different guitar overdubs. Okay. Like the verse, that backwards thing. Oh, okay. Verse two, that's so there. these are guitar overdubs, and they're in stereo. So now the guitars are shaping up. We've got one set of mains, one set of baritone, one set of octaves, and now we've got guitar overdubs. We've got eight stereo tracks of guitars, which is a lot, but you'll see that they don't all play at the same time. Woo! 